Feuer rüber. Er ist über... Oh, oh, oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the German is back for you on the Inside Gaming channel and today we are taking a close look to a new War Thunder vehicle, the Matilda Hedgehog. The Matilda Hedgehog is the first vehicle you can get from the War Thunder Battle Pass and about the War Thunder Battle Pass I made a video, a very, very clear video, how I'm looking on the Battle Pass. I will link the video in the info card right on top of this video, so check out if you like to see or if you are interested in the battle pass. So today we are taking a closer look to the Matilda Hedgehog. As I said, it's my first tank review on this channel and as I told you in the battle pass video, I played a lot World of Tanks and tried to play a little bit competitive and all that stuff, but I changed to War Thunder. Why? Maybe that's a topic for another video if you're interested in. I guess you're new to this channel. Please subscribe to enjoy more FPS and War Thunder content. Today it's all about the Matilda Hedgehog. And we will check the stats first. So, the Matilda Hedgehog is basically a Matilda, a British 2.7 BR heavy tank. And you have, and that's the big difference to the normal Matilda from the tech tree you have this mortar rockets on the back of the tank so it's funny because the mass of the Matilda Hedgehog with those mortars is the same mass compared to the normal Matilda and you have more engine power so you have 190 horsepower compared to 163 I guess you have the same speed as the normal Matilda and the funny thing is that you have the same mass even with those mortar rockets. You have the same armor, you have the same reload, you have the same vertical guidance with the minus 20 degrees gun depression, which is pretty nice if you like gun depression tanks. And you have a stabilized gun, and that's one of the big benefits from the British tanks, those stabilized guns and gun depression. But for the Matilda, as you know from the tech tree, it's a heavy tank and it's quite slow and it takes a lot of time to move your tank around. In terms of armor, your turret is your biggest advantage and on the other points you can get panned easily. But if you play the Matilda, you will see that you can bounce a lot. But you have those mortar gun shells in the back and you can get ammo wrecked even if they racks are empty. My buddy Olabrolo get ammo wrecked every time even though the, he shot all his mortar shells but he got blown away by getting hits in the back of the tank. I don't know why, maybe it's a bug, we don't know but it happened and happened a lot to him. Whenever I played the Matilda most of the pen shots were in the lower right here and as you can see you don't have that much armor on the side of the tank. Your upper is a little bit better but not as effective as your turret. Another important fact, you can only activate your mortars by using your turret on 12 o'clock. If your turret is a little bit on the side or looking to, to your side, you can't activate and fire your mortars. So you have to have your gun on 12 o'clock. And right now we should check the range. It should be around 190 to 200 meters. I would say a little bit more into the 190 meters than 200 and I don't know why but believe me guys it's not that precisely. Okay right now we have the 190 meters. Let's put another one into the target a little on the right because we shoot our first mod. We, we almost got him. This, should, this one should be fine. There we go. And you, you can see if you hit your opponent they will be blown away because you are hit, you're hitting your target from above. And again, I'm looking to the side and I'm moving my turret to 12 o'clock. And as you can see right now, we can fire our rockets quite fast. But if you're looking to the side of your tank, as I said, you can't use your mortars. But as you can see, you can shoot them quite fast. So, how do you play the Matilda in battle? The Matilda is, as I said, a little bit clumsy and slow. Before you drive to the first front line, or if you push towards the enemy, you should have an empty rack. Because even if you bounce a shot with your turret, the ricochet can hit your rack and blow you completely away. But as I told you in the beginning, but you can get hit very deadly, even if they hit your rack in the back. I don't know why, as I said, but it happens. So, 
the Matilda Hedgehog is as the normal Matilda on 2.7, it can be a quite good tank because you have a little bit of armor, your gun is shooting very fast, but a big, big disadvantage is your clumsiness as I would say it. Yeah, it, it took a little bit of time to get around of corners and that can put you in a big disadvantage. So how should you play the Matilda Hedgehog? You should take the advantage and use your mortars. They have around 190 meters range and can hit very hardly because those mortar rounds they are coming right from above and that's a big advantage because you can pen the enemies from the top of their tanks and as you may know the top of a tank is very low armored because shot from above is highly unusual that's why you should drive to the let's say one line behind the front line to get as close as you can to use your mortars after you shot all your mortars you can go into the fight in my opinion of course if you have a different playstyle you can use that one but the armor of the matilda isn't that effective if the opponents know where to aim that's why you can hold your ground very effective with the matilda it's a brutal tank because if you play her down your armor gets even more effective with your mortars you can shoot enemies behind cover i thought it's highly impossible to be effective with that thing but it worked and it worked okay for me as i said you can get the matilda if you bought the battle pass very early on but i will sell the tank why because i'm not playing playing british tanks and i'm not a big fan of heavy tanks or slow clumsy tanks and i would say the matilda is nice if you want to get in touch with some British tanks or if you want to have a little bit of fun with British tanks on low tier but for that the non Matilda is quite enough. Um, those mortars aren't that effective or aren't that helpful as they maybe should. For the Matilda now you can change the angle of your mortars that's why it's also a big disadvantage and that's why I don't like them. Of course you can angle your tank if you drive like behind a rock and angle your tank a little bit with that playstyle but it's not that effective and precisely as it should. If you like the Matilda maybe it's uh, it's worth the purchase but for me I'm not playing British as I said and that's why I, I do not think it's worth for me personally. If you have of course a little bit more reward in terms of research and silver lions but that shouldn't be the point for the Matilda with those mortar shells in the back. Of course, it's a big, big meme tank, and if you make a kill with the mortars, it's very funny and hilarious. Yes, that's a good point for the Matilda, but it's not an effective point in terms of your playstyle or if you want to be an efficient player. It's fun to play the Matilda, but I wouldn't recommend to keep it. I think you can earn more Gaijin coins out of it by selling it, or if you wait a little bit more, you can have a much more bigger efficiency out of the Matilda but if you're a fan from for British tanks but if you have a feeling for British tanks you can keep it of course I don't know what's the price I don't know what the price is going to be because we can sell it in 79 days I guess so it's taking I don't know what the price is going to be it takes a little while and but as I said I will sell it in my opinion it's not worth to keep I told you the reasons why and right now you should think for yourself is it worth I gave you some points for the Matilda I hope you liked the video and if you like what you see hit the like button to show the world we Germans can win at least something and if we won your like that would be awesome see you in the next video guys and let's jump right into the next project